Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today it's part eight of up and coming and new fragrance reviewers on YouTube. So if you're new to my channel, I do a regular feature normally once a month occasionally it's every couple of months um, and it's basically new and up and coming fragrance reviews that I find on YouTube I normally have it under 150 subs around about that um, and I've got another 11 to share with you today so the first channel I'm going to feature today is AR One Min Fragrance Reviews. So let's take a look at the page. AR One Min Fragrance Reviews is currently on 39 subscribers. He's got a um, review on Rosa Salas, which I'm a big fan. Um, Montal, Tiziana Terenzi, some Manchera, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Lamal. Burberry London, Versace Dylan Blue. And it looks like he's been going for about 12 months there or thereabouts. And he doesn't post that often. I think it's normally like once a month. I can see he's had a, like a four month break and then he posted a month ago. But he's sitting there on 39 subs and I think he deserves your attention. He's really good. I really enjoy listening to him. So that's AL1 Min Fragrance Reviews. So the next channel I'm going to look at is a channel called All About The Juice and he's currently sitting on 124 subscribers. Um, he started about a month ago and I really enjoy his content. He's done a Is It Hype on Zara's Warm Black which I've tried myself and quite enjoy that. He's done a review on Spice Bomb Night Vision. He's tested Mercedes-Benz Intense and the original against Fahrenheit EDT. He's done some other Zara stuff, CK Shock. He's done some versus battles with Abercrombie and Fitch. Best Gym Colognes, English Laundry. It's really good, I really enjoy his content. So the next channel we're gonna look at is Amber Stewart. Now, Amber Stewart is one for the ladies. Um, she's currently sitting on 80s and subscribers and she's got some wonderful reviews. Uh, Ralph Lauren, just versus battles. Um, Sugar by Frank Boclet. Blossom Love by Amouage. She's got fragrance hauls. She's got her husband's fragrances, which I particularly enjoyed. Affordable vanilla fragrances. I think she's really good and she's well worth watching. So the next channel we're gonna look at, and this is Anthony Ikediashi. Um, he's got sitting currently sitting on 29 subs and he's got some really good content. He's got um, his latest video, which was a week ago, is perfume and attractions, what fragrances ladies find attractive on a guy and how many a guy should own. Uh, I hope it's uh, not less than 300. How to make your fragrance last. Did I love or hate this fragrance? Best seller from the house of Frank Olivier. Best clone of Black Afghano by Paris Corner. I've actually ordered a Paris Corner myself. Um, and those are his latest videos. It's actually started a year ago, but then until three weeks ago, he hadn't posted in a while. So I'm really glad that he's back and back in the game so to speak and I'm looking forward to more content from him. The next one I'm going to tell you about is a quick and easy one. This is Ariane Scent. Currently sitting on 33 subs but all they've done at the moment is a coming soon video. Now the reason they're on so many subs is because they're also on Instagram and I really enjoy the Instagram content but I'm really looking forward to the content. So they got a lot to live up to, but I'm sure they can uh, bang some really good content out there. So that's one to look out for, really. So the next channel we're going to look at, and this is Be Fresher. And this guy is definitely fresh for sure. He's currently sitting on 66 subscribers, 
but he's only released two videos fragrance videos anyway so he's got ovation for men his first impressions of it and he's also got um coco moon a review on that but if you look most of his other videos are singing videos and to be fair he's pretty talented but i'm pretty sure there's a lot more fragrance content coming from him soon so stay tuned to this channel for some really good content so another new channel that I've come across recently is Leia Loves. She's currently sitting on 52 subscribers and she's got eight videos up there at the moment. She's got a perfume haul, which includes a Zara in there, which I really want. Um, she's got which flower bomb is the best for you, top rose scents. She compares an EDT against the EDP. She's got some Kayali fragrances. She's got a wish list, a summer haul, and she's got a collection, and she's got a really nice way about her, and I really enjoy listening to her, so she's well worth checking out. So this next one is a little bit left field again. Um, this is called The Little Perfume Geek. Um, I found this lady on Instagram, and she doesn't review fragrances, but she likes painting them, and I think it's great what she does. She's got hell of a lot on um, Instagram, so go and check her out on Instagram. At the moment, she's got two videos up. One, which is a painting time lapse, and the other one is painting tips for beginners, but they're both fragrances that she's painting, and I think it's a brilliant idea. So go and check her out. So the next channel we're looking at, and this is Luxury Glam Productions. She's currently sitting on 106 subscribers and I think she's been going for four months around that time. But she's got some really good content. She's got first impressions of a Juliet has a gun, mask proof perfumes, which is quite relevant at the moment. She's got a yay or nay regarding sample reviews. She's got five ways to keep in her sanity and survive the current times. Dior versus Chanel, top five must buy colognes, top 12 fragrances, one fragrance a month tag. She's got a hell of a lot, really, really good, really enjoy her content. So she's well worth checking out. So the next channel we're looking at, and this is my own personal truth. Now, I really enjoy this guy's content because he looks at some of the Zara ones, which I haven't discovered yet. He looks at a Zara country exclusive, and the fact that Zara really annoyed him, which it's it's a good watch to be fair. Um, he's got Zara's clone of Baccarat Rouge 540, Last Sequence by Zara, Next Sequence by Zara. He's got Red Vanilla, and then he's got Mont Blanc Explorer and Aventus clones, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, David Beckham, Versace Poor Arm. SoCal by Hollister, Navy Black by Zara, which is another one that I own. So it's well worth a watch. So that's it for this video. Um, as I always say in these videos, it's up to you and your personal choice whether you decide to watch any of this content, whether you decide to subscribe to them. I'm putting them out there for you to make that decision. Um, I quite enjoy all these channels um, so I've subscribed to them all but it's your own personal choice leave me a comment below if there's anybody else which is new on the scene which I'm not aware of at the moment I am going to be going straight into filming another episode straight after this because I've got another 10 people um, and don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps and we're getting close to that 1000 mark now so so that'd be great if we could hit that mark and I might even do a giveaway, you never know. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.